Hi guys, so today I'm doing a little experiment with paint. So recently I came across with very inspirational calligraphy art. I looked it up on internet and there was so many tools you need to basically do the background. We call it the backsplash and it was just too many tools. Today we'll be experimenting the most simple tools to do a simple calligraphy art. So let's start right now. So for the tools, you'll need a paper. You can use rough paper first to try it out and then switch to maybe an A4 paper or art paper. Next, you're gonna need a plastic bag or a Ziploc bag. And then you're gonna need some paint. You can use whatever type of paint you want. And of course, paint brushes. You'll also need a spray bottle and some water. Okay, so first thing first, you'll need your plastic bag and you'll need some paint. So pick whichever color you want to use. So I've picked four colors, purple, pink, blue and white. Also try to color code it so it will look much nicer. jar with water you'll need it too so right now you'll need to water down every color until it's watery and you don't want it to contrast just water it down and paint it on the plastic with the white dot and moving on to the other color so for the next color I'm using pink just dab it with every color you want to use moving on with purple I'm doing lesser dots with purple because I want the final look to be uh, light and not that dark and just a touch of blue this is the finished look of my plastic paint so right now you'll need to spray it with your spray bottle just very lightly then take your paper and flip it over to the piece of paper and then gently smudge it all over piece looks like that and if you have any touches you want to make do it right now and water it down and paint it on your piece of art so mine looks like that and I'm quite happy with it so I'm gonna leave it like that so for the finishing touches you'll need some salt and just sprinkle it on top like that so what the salt will do is it will make the paint prettier when it crystallized and it'll leave a little tiny small droplets everywhere now just let it dry while you clean up after 30 minutes my art is done i have dumped the salt away so the salt part is not really necessary because 
it's just an additional step to make your art look nicer as you can see there are little tiny dots it makes the paint look more nicer it's made from the salt that crystallized and you can skip this step out if you think it's unnecessary what you need to do right now is write on your desired words with a calligraphy pen or any marker pen that you want finished three of them and these two are the ones that I did earlier they look so pretty I like it so much I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did I had so much fun painting these and doing the calligraphy writings on top of them they are actually very easy to do once you practice I did this in about six tries and they turn out so well and if you guys recreate these DIYs make sure to tag me don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out on any of the fun. I'll see you guys next time with another video. Bye!